flat water crossing, but it's fun. Flying around in Florida in these bloody trails. Wow, that is awesome. That made a huge difference. As you can see here, you might hurt yourself. It's time to do our monthly t-shirt giveaway. So let's see who the winner is. All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another Awesome Moto Vlog. What you just saw there was the new Awesome Moto Channel trailer. I'm really excited for all of the big things coming to the channel in 2023. I'm finished off the year strong with two more videos, and then 2023, we're gonna have some pretty big updates coming your way. So by the title of today's video, you probably already know we're gonna be installing some new ditch light brackets, but I also wanted to send out a quick reminder that the ditch light brackets from CBI Off-Road that I have on the GX right now, I'm gonna be giving away to one of you subscribers. So if you wanna be a part of the giveaway for these ditch light brackets, all you have to do is subscribe to the Awesome Moto YouTube channel by hitting that subscribe button down below. And at the end of December, I'll be drawing a winner and I'll ship you a set of these ditch light brackets, an Awesome Moto t-shirt, and some Awesome Moto stickers. Speaking of the t-shirt giveaway, it is now December and it is time for us to do a drawing for our December Awesome Moto t-shirt giveaway winner. All right, so congratulations. You are the winner of the December t-shirt giveaway. I appreciate you being a subscriber and supporting the channel. Keep a lookout for a message from me. I'll be reaching out to coordinate t-shirt size and shipping. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's just get into today's video. I wanna show off, these are the Rago Fab Ditch Light Brackets. I think I talked about these in the live stream quite a bit and I also brought these up in the Vlog 59 where we were doing some snorkel install and we realized that the CBI off-road brackets actually interfere with our snorkel. So with the design of the Rago Fab Ditch Light Brackets, these will pull the light pods in a little bit closer and it'll enable us to have the snorkel and the ditch lights on at the same time. All right, so let's just cut these open and get a look at the design here. All right, so, so these are gonna be a little bit easier to install than the CBI off-road ones. And you can see just by the design itself, they're gonna pull the light pod in a little bit closer compared to the CBI off-road ones, which on the passenger side will make it very easy uh, for routing and not having issues with these brackets hitting the snorkel. So the one thing that was nice about these CBI off-road brackets is it pulled the light pods over and it actually kind of put it in your blind spot here. So when you were driving, you actually didn't really notice that the light pods were there and they kind of stayed tucked away and hidden. With the Rago Fab, they'll definitely be visible from the driver's seat, uh, but the, the key here is to keep them from interfering with the snorkel, so that's why we're going that route. So this is gonna be a pretty easy install. We'll take these light pods and brackets off. We'll put on our Rago Fab bracket and then we'll install our Lost Fit pods right back into the same place. So let's just pop the hood and pull these off and get started with the install. All right, so we'll take this lost fit pod off here. All right, so the nice thing about the design of the Ragofab ditch light brackets is that they'll actually get mounted up here to the bottom side of this hood bracket instead of down here like the CVI off-road did. The nice thing about that is, so what I think I can do is I think I can slide the bracket up underneath like this take off the first bolt, attach the front end of the bracket, and then tighten things back up, and then remove this lower bolt here and pivot it into place, 
and tighten that one up as well. And just as a reminder, you'll need a 12 millimeter socket for this. All right, so I'll we'll slide our bracket into place here and we'll put this bolt in here. Just kind of make that hand tight so it still pivots. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is remove this bottom bolt and we'll slide it into place. So we'll slide this into place, put our bolt up through, and that was much easier of an install, holy crap. Compared to the CBI off-road, this was much easier and that went into place really nice, I like that. So I just wanna snug these up and they were on there pretty tight from factory. Not sure what the torque spec is, but you just want them good and tight. All right, so now we can lower the hood and attach our pod lights. So as you can see, this sits way off to the side and we're not extending as far out. So that should have no issues on the other side with the snorkel. Uh, so let's put this on and we'll transition over there. All right, so I noticed there's a little bit of play that you have here so you can slide the bracket here left to right. And I think I wanna make sure that I don't over there run into the snorkel. But on this side, I wanna be as much out of my driver's side view so that I'm not staring at the back of a pod light the whole time. So I'm gonna kinda of slide things over a little bit here and tighten this down. The one thing you wanna do as you're tightening this down is you wanna make sure you aim your pod lights where you need them. I personally like them to be pointing off to the sides because with the light bar, I get really good coverage out in front of me. Uh, but in the pod lights, I have out to the sides so that I can see off to the sides of the trails, hence the reason they're called ditch lights. All right, so this looks awesome, but the real test is going over to the passenger side and doing the same install process, and we'll see if we have any issues with clearing the snorkel. All right, so there we have it. Got these ditch lights finally back on the GX and we have no issues with clearing the snorkel. We have plenty of room over there. So I just wanna go ahead and show off just kind of how these sit. It sits really nice. Tons of clearance around the sides. And I think the biggest question for me was, do these hit the windshield whenever we pop the hood up? I guess I wanna see what kind of clearance we got. I didn't notice any clicking earlier, so it definitely must not be, yeah, you can see plenty of clearance there. Do not hit. Looks like overall this design is really good. Huge fan of that. Super easy install. As you can see, two bolts, that's all it is. All right, so I know this was a super short video, but these Ragofab ditch light brackets are awesome. If you're in the market for ditch light brackets and also have a snorkel, I highly recommend these because you get plenty of clearance with your snorkel. All right, so after today's video, we have one more video left for 2022. I'm gonna be heading up to Pennsylvania for two weeks to spend some time with family for the holidays. And I'm gonna bring the cameras along so we can do some off-roading up there in Pennsylvania. Hey, you never know, maybe we'll even get to do some snow trail riding. So stay tuned for that one last video coming up for the year. And then 2023, we have tons of awesome stuff coming up. And one of the things I'm gonna show you is a sneak peek to what's coming up in 2023, as I just kind of have it right here. So we've got ourselves a Badland winch. So we got the Apex 12,000. So we're gonna be installing this on the GX coming up in 2023. In addition to that, I'm still waiting on the arrival of it, but during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday stream that I did, I actually went ahead and purchased that Dobinson lift that I was talking about. So we got a Dobinson lift on the way. Those are the first two mods for 2023. Keep an eye out for the last video, which is gonna be a Pennsylvania special edition. Max is gonna be there as well. So we're gonna be doing some trail riding and some filming. So I'll give you a one last update for 2022. And then after that, we'll be rolling into 2023 where we have a lot of new awesome mods to come and a lot of channel updates stuff that's been going on behind the scenes that I'm really excited to share with you. So if you liked today's video, hit that thumbs up button. If you're not already an Awesome Moto subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. It gets you entered into monthly t-shirt and sticker giveaways. And additionally, I've been pairing up with channel sponsors to give away products such as Lost Fit with the Light Pod giveaway that we did in November, where we gave one of you lucky subscribers a pair of $250 high powered three inch LED pod lights. So congratulations on that winner. All right, well, I'm gonna end things here. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.